Hello, lovies. We've been practicing digraphs, which there are four digraphs, SH, CH, TH, WH. They all have H at the end. I'm not sure if that's why they all kind of go together. But we've been practicing. We've already learned them, but I like to practice, go back and practice things. We've done CH at the beginning of a word, and today we're going to do CH when it's at the end of the word. You don't know the word yet, but you know the end sound. Now you know it. Inch, sure. And I know that you know about rulers, and each number marks an inch, so there's six inches on this ruler. So if I gave you a pencil and said, how long is that pencil? You'd put the pencil at the very beginning of the ruler and you would measure and you would see that the point of that pencil is almost at the four. That means that pencil is almost four inches long. How about lunch? Yeah, one of my favorite times of the day that was a fun lunch. Good, pinch. Now, I did not want to put an unkind picture of someone pinching another person. So I gave you a picture of someone who is pinching a penny. Now that's a saying we have. It doesn't really mean that you squash that penny because of course that would be too hard. If someone is pinching pennies, then that means they are very careful with their money. They do not use it for foolish things. So it's good to be a penny pincher. It means that you are very careful with your money. Ranch. A rancher is kind of like a farmer in that they need a lot of land. But they raise animals instead of crop. They can have... Um, there can be a horse ranch, a cattle ranch, a sheep ranch, uh, animals that in big herds. So a rancher has to take care of his animals, just like the farmer has to take care of their crop. Needs to make sure that they have plenty of food and water. Bunch, yeah. Yes, bananas that we love. A bunch of bananas. A group of bananas is called a bunch. Munch. Mm -hmm. When we went to the Gator game, one of the best parts of the, going to a game is kind of snacking and munching on some food. Eli, you were very happy with that foot-long hot dog. And I think it probably was 12 inches a foot. And Jude, you had some good popcorn. And Noah, you had one of those big pretzels to munch on. We also liked the game, but the food was fun. Punch. Again, I did not want to put an unkind picture. Here's a boxer with a punching bag. We've used hole punch before that punch a hole in the paper. And sometimes when you go to nice parties, they have a punch bowl. And so they put what you're going to drink in a bowl. Usually it's a fruit drink or something. And then you have cups and they uh, scoop the punch. And so you drink punch instead of soda or apple juice or water. Oh, that's a word we know. Only three sounds. Six letters, three sounds. Ch, urch. Uh huh. All over the world, there are churches, and there are some that are just beautiful, both on the outside and the inside. Took years and years to build. Very beautiful. And there are churches that are plainer. It really does not matter what the building looks like for a church because we say, that the church is the people. Hey, Noah, I know you like this one, peach. I think that's his favorite fruit. It's so good in the summer when peaches are available and they're so good and juicy. 
Oh, that's the one everybody loves, especially in the summer, beach. It's so good that we live close to a beach that we can go to. And there's the beach in Haiti that Jackson and Reagan went to. Do you notice at their beach that there's rocks instead of the sand that we have in Daytona Beach to play? Beach is a great place to go. Oh, that's a word I like, teach. He's gonna teach how to play golf. I bet someday Uncle Rich will do that with you. Crunch, crunch. He's gonna step on some eggshells and they will go crunch. Reach, mm -hmm. reach, Reagan. This really is one of my favorite pictures. I think because that dolphin looks so happy you're playing with him, reaching up. It would be nice if that glass wasn't there and you could really pet his nose. Reach. Branch, branch. Now, Jude, I've been studying this picture and I'm not exactly sure I remember what was happening. Was your daddy trying to throw you up over that branch so you could sit there? Or were you coming down and he was holding you so that you could flip over that branch? I'm not sure. But that is a nice, big, sturdy branch. It's just kind of tall. Bench. Mm -hmm. There you are sitting on the bench. I'm pretty sure you got new shoes and you were showing me your new shoes that day. Couch, couch. All right, a couch is different from a chair. A chair sits one person, but a couch sits more than one. I know you like to sit on those blue couches when you play video games with Uncle Rich. Perch. Now, perch can be two different pictures. There's a fish called a perch, and a perch is a, a stick or branch where a bird can sit on and wrap his little uh, fingernails, his claws around. That's the perch that the bird is on. Ostrich, ostrich. I put that picture in there, then I started thinking, what do I remember about ostrich? So I had to read a little bit. And you probably know the ostrich is the largest bird. It also has the largest egg. It is the heaviest bird. It weighs the most. And because it weighs so much, and it's kind of shaped funny, it cannot fly. But it has very strong legs. And those strong legs make him a very fast runner. So if he's running from a predator, he can't fly away, but he can run. And he can use those legs to fight by using them to kick. And it's often said that an ostrich puts his head in the ground. Well, he really doesn't. They don't bury their head. Sometimes they put their head down in the sand to cool off, but they don't stick their head in the ground so that they can't see what's going on. Ah, there's a word. Now notice there's no capital. <clears throat> so this is not a name, rich. If you're rich, you have a lot of money. If I give it a capital, then we know Uncle Rich, and when you think of Uncle Rich, you think of him like that. When I think of your Uncle Rich, I remember him as a little boy, as the youngest brother, and your dad was a great brother, and Uncle Will, they were great brothers to Uncle Rich, and they played with him. Sandwich, yes, well, Eli, I put grilled cheese because I know you love grilled cheese so much. 
And then I put a picture of a Cuban sandwich. That's called a Cuban sandwich. And your dad and mom and Uncle Rich and Papa, they all love Cuban sandwiches. But my favorite sandwich is good old peanut butter and jelly. It's always fun to have sandwiches. Now, CH at the end of the word also has that spelling TCH. If there's a green box, and you remember with my wall cards, a green box was a hint that there was going to be a short vowel. If I put a, a letters in yellow, I'm talking about long vowels, and I use green for short vowels. So these words, instead of ending in CH, they're going to end in TCH, and they will have a short vowel. So, sure, B batch, batch, a batch of cookies or a batch of muffins. Crutch, crutch. If you hurt your leg or hurt your foot, it's hard to walk. You might need a crutch. Fetch. Mm -hmm. If you have a dog and you throw a stick, you say, fetch, go fetch. And that means he'll run and get it and bring it back. And sometimes people, especially people that live in the south and kind of talk like this, sometimes they'll say, I'm going to go to the store and fetch some milk for us. Catch. Mm -hmm. You can catch a ball or catch a fish. And this was the first fish that you caught for the summer. You've caught a lot more since then, but everybody was excited that first day, the first catch of the summer. Hitch. Mm-hmm. We've talked about people that take their boats to the ocean or to a lake or a river, and they have their boat at their house. They have to hook it up to the back of their car, and so they hook it on a hitch like that. Or even before, people that had horse and buggies, they would hitch the horse to the buggy. That would mean they would attach the horse so it could pull the buggy. Switch. Mm-hmm. Now, I think of a light switch, but I also think about switching places. So, Uncle Rich, would you switch places with Eli? Good. Eli, would you switch back? Okay. Now, well, switch again. Okay. Eli, switch back. Yeah. Yeah. No, better switch again. Switch back. Oh, do you like switching places? Is one side better than the other? Switch. How about d itch? Ditch. All right. Usually we think of a ditch uh, by the side of a road. They'll dig a, a long ditch and put pipes in the dish, ditch and then put the dirt back over. This ditch, the pipe's there, and then there's some rocks for where the water will come out, but it's still a ditch. Now, something happened when you all took a fun trip to Kansas. It was, it had rained and there was a really muddy road. And on the side of the road, there was a muddy ditch. And cars started getting stuck in the mud. There was a car up there and here's a truck. And there's your van. You all got stuck as well. And a very nice farmer with a very big tractor, you can see his big tractor, came and used a chain to pull the car and the truck and your van out of the ditch. That was very kind of him. Hutch. Hutch. A hutch is a piece of furniture some people have. They keep their china dishes, and then down below they can keep uh, tablecloths and things, or a hutch can be a cage for a rabbit. Uh, if it's a cage with chickens in them, we don't call it a hutch, but if it's a rabbit, then that structure, his little cage, is called a hutch. Yeah, we all know what that one is. Itch, 
Oh, if you get bit by a mosquito, you can, it will itch, P itch, pitch. Yeah, in baseball, your dad loved to pitch. Latch. A latch is a hook on a gate sometimes. Uh, it's usually not a lock. It usually is just a latch that you can unlatch and go through. Keeps the gates closed. Match. Mm -hmm. I have two different things for match. Can you figure out what they might be? A match that is a light or... When we play that memory game, you try to match the pictures. Stretch, stretch. Sometimes when you do exercise, it's fun to stretch your body first. You can stretch a rubber band. And Titus, I don't know about you, you're a crazy boy. I think that is a headband that you are probably stretching, getting some exercise while you're riding in the car. Stretching. Of course, you're stretching the headband, but look at your legs. You also have to stretch your legs to make it go that far. Patch. If you have a pair of pants or a coat or something and there's a torn spot, a worn out spot, we put patches on them to make it last a little longer. Scratch, scratch. Sometimes you can get a scratch on your hand. Or, you know, I like those uh, boards that are all covered in black, but you take that wooden stick and you scratch and you draw a picture on it. Whatever you draw, the color shows underneath to make a pretty picture. Sketch. To sketch something means you're going to draw it kind of quickly. This is Eric Carle, and he's doing a sketch. Before he does his, his perfect picture for his books, he does a sketch to see how he'd like it to be. This is one of the sketches he has for Brown Bear. And he does it real quickly with pencil, and then he tries to figure out what colors he'll use or how he'll do it. Some people are able to sketch very quickly and um, do nice, nice pictures. But if I sketch something, then I'm going to do it kind of quickly and usually with a pencil. Draw a picture. Stitch. Stitch. Mm -hmm. If there's a... Uh, a hole in my pants, I might stitch it up. On a baseball, there are stitches on a baseball, and you can check with your dad, but I'm pretty sure the reason those stitches are there is so that when you're holding the baseball, you can put your fingers on those stitches. And then when you throw the ball, it doesn't slip out of your hand as easily, so it makes, you, makes it so that you can get a nice tight grip on that baseball. I'm pretty sure that's why those stitches are there. Clutch. Clutch means to hold tightly. Noah, you were young, you were gonna clutch some stuffed animals. A clutch is also a kind of a purse that ladies use. It doesn't have any straps, so you have to hold it to you. You have to hold on to it. You clutch it. Yes, which, and you know, I also like the homophone, which, which, which do you like? Which? Watch. Watch can be something you wear on your hand or you can watch TV. Good reading. <clears throat> See you later, alligator. Hasta mañana, scary piranha.